I've done it. I've finally woken up at the correct time. I haven't had enough sleep. That's a bit when I'm more awake. It's sometime after 1 p.m. now and I'm on the train. I didn't pick up the camera between the last time and now because I was just fresh, 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 trying to get everything done before leaving, including a big chunk of flute practice and everything else that I do. Because I didn't want to vlog about that again for a third day running. <laughs> so anyway, I'm on the train. I'm going to go to Ikea eventually. I'm going to get off at Cardiff Central. I've got a couple of little bits and bobs I want to get from there. And then I'm going to head on to Grangetown to go to Ikea because I want to get my daughter a load of great big blue bags because we are taking her back to uni this weekend, come in, and we got rid of all her boxes when it was move-in day. So she'll have to get them again because she's been a bit under the weather. I uh, wasn't sure how well she'd be for going around searching out boxes or I don't know I just thought it was one less bit of hassle for her so I'm just gonna kit her out with a load and we'll dump them back in the room there's a storage area where she can keep them and then it'll be easier then when she comes back she can just pack them in there I just had a ridiculous hoo-ha looking for my tickets I always just put them in with my phone these days there's like you know a little flappy bit where you can put things like that but for some reason I didn't today I put them in my wallet in a in with the bank cards I don't know why I never do that and then I got on the train I was like that's my tickets and had to get the inspector to check for me at the ticket office in case I'd left them there but anyway they turned up fortunately. It's actually not rained on my way here but it looks like it's going to. I've made a right mess of my packed lunch, it's leftovers from yesterday, you know I was making that puff pastry thing. If you watched the end of yesterday's vlog you'll know I made a big puff pastry thing, I just got pre-made ready rolled puff pastry from Lidl and put tomatoes on it, sliced mushrooms, peppers and a lot of grated cheese, well how did that go? It was very nice. The puff pastry was soggy underneath, I think because there was just so much moisture in the tomato, so it wasn't crispy and crunchy underneath, but it was very nice, but it was very thin because it didn't puff up. My daughter picked every bit of cheese off and refused to eat the cheese, even though she likes cheese on pizza, apparently she didn't like cheese on that, so that was a bit of a disappointment after, you know, I was so excited to give it to her because I thought she'd love it and think it was a treat, but apparently not. She said the other bits were delicious. Um, so that, that's the report on that. Would I make it again? Maybe. But it's not looking very appetising now because I left in such a hurry to get the train that I just shoved it in and it's kind of slopped everywhere. I've had lunch, been studying Portuguese on my new Portuguese learning programme that I've subscribed to, but the internet's just gone down a minute so I'm waiting for that to kick back in. And we're speeding on our way to Cardiff. I'm going to get off at Queen Street Station today. Oh, that's a cold wind. So the reason I got off at Queen Street is because I want to go to m and and buy some... I call them sleeper bras. I don't know what you call them. I'll show you when I get them. <laughs> They're kind of lounging around not proper bras but they are a bit supportive. And I need two pairs of black tights as well because I've got a couple ready for the charity shop one for charity shop and one for the textiles recycling because it's got a hole in it but until I have got replacements I can't quite uh, get rid of them because I might need them you know <sighs> gosh it's really quite chilly and I forgot my hat what a bummer it was a lovely sunny day though I'm not complaining about the lack of rain that's been absolute blessed relief good grief that bit is absolutely empty of people <laughs> something spooked those pigeons I think they're all lined up there on the roof I never really looked at that sort of lean-to roofy thingy before. It's a bit grotty, actually. Oh, seagull on the head. Never really noticed that building before. It looks absolutely lovely in the sunshine, all lit up evenly like that. It's coming towards the end of the Easter holidays as I film this. Here's m and I'm going to pop in. Heading upstairs to the lingerie section. Oh, there we are. They're called crop tops, not sleeper bras. There's a three pack there for £18. I'll probably want a medium. I bought some of these before and they've absolutely lasted and lasted. I think I might have got them in 2020. I might have bought them online, possibly. I can't quite remember. The elastic's starting to go a bit on them now. And I could do with a couple of extra to have at my other half's house. 
Really? Yes, I think I shall invest in those. I'm after tights now. I want some to wear with my dresses that I do my wedding gigs in and, well, any gigs really, but I need nice thick ones because I ladder them. I'm terrible. You know, once you lug in speakers around and setting up mic stands and things, you just, you catch them on things and they get ripped. So I just want to be all dainty and not help, you know. Also, I bought some lovely cottony ones from Portugal before and they've gone to holes now, but I loved them. They were my favourite. Now, what I want is something this texture, which is sort of cottony texture, but tights so I can't seem to find any to be fair I'm not very good at looking so they're all a bit they feel a bit synthetic-y in other news I'm not in for the massive thick ones but look how thick those tights oops those tights are sorry put them back they're really really thick it's like almost feels like wetsuit thick <laughs> I definitely don't want that because I get too hot in my gigs okay I finally honed in on these they're eight pound for one pair feels like cotton it says it contains wool but I like the feel of it it is a bit to say for maximum warmth well I'm not sure if I really want maximum warmth it might be a bit hot 100 denier but maybe mine are all maximum warmth ones and I just don't know it just feels like the same as what I usually have do you know what? I'm gonna get one pair see how I get on with them and I'll know that M&S sells them then so I can come back and get another one if it's any good for me good those have been got. I'm going to Holland and Barrett now. I want a couple of things from here. Well, at least one thing, possibly two, depends on the price. We've got some interesting flavoured popcorns in here. Seaweed, kale and black pepper. They're all 79p. Raspberry and licorice. What do you think of that then? Barely salted. Okay, that's normal. Turmeric and manuka honey. Aha, uh -huh, almost couldn't see for looking. This is what I'm after. Somebody recommended, somebody in the comments recommended that I try menno paste for my hot flushes. I am already having prescription stuff from the GP, but come December, I was really having hot flushes all the time. And I started these, but it didn't work straight away. But I'd say within two weeks, the hot flushes were barely there at all. And it's continued to remain the same so I'm not saying it was these I'm just saying I happened to take these and two weeks later the symptoms cleared up so I'm assuming they are but I'm not medically trained so please don't take that as medical advice but I'm definitely gonna get some more <laughs> that said yes oh that's more economical it's just a minute for the long haul I'm just gonna get a big box that's 90 tablets it's about three months worth that's 11.99 Look, it's why I won't get home half price as well. It is a bit of an outlay, but it's going to be a long term saving, so I'm going to get two so I can get the second for half price. There we are. Oh, now I see, I was hoping for this buy one, get one half price sale because of the faith in nature. I've been buying it on subscribe and faith in Amazon, but the price keeps fluctuating. And um, all of a sudden, I realise I'm paying six pounds something for the bottle, which was like much less than that a couple of months before. So I'm going to get two because that way I'll get one and one half price. Hopefully it works like that. Hopefully it's not like I pay full for those and get those half price. I'll check with the guy. So let's get World Rose because that is absolutely lush. I like blueberry the best, but they don't seem to have it here. I love the lavender and geranium. Not so keen on the dragon fruit. It's all right. Right, let's go see. Yep, got those. Excellent in the bag. So the deal, the buy one, get one half price did pair up with like for like items. So I made a good saving there. I really feel like a walk in like Butte Park in the sunshine. Look at the blossom and things. I think I'm gonna do it. Hey, look at all those flags billowing in the breeze there. I'm gonna take the underpass to get over the road. Random fact, I actually used to live in the castle grounds. Actually not lying, I genuinely did. <laughs> Until I was about two years old in an apartment. Oh, this has had a lick of paint since I last came down here. It's looking very colorful. Ambulance. That's the city hall there, directly in front. We've just come in through the castle north gate. Walk closes today at 7.30, so we've got plenty of time. I'm not hanging around anyway, because I'm going to Ikea, but I'm going to go to Ikea through this park and out the end, and then uh, I'm going to walk. I did buy a train ticket all the way to Grangetown, actually, but it's just, I can't believe it's actually not raining, so I'm going to get some exercise. My steps have been very low lately, since I've been practicing my flute so much. I've had woefully low step days. Okay, come back. This is a problem with having to change lenses when you don't just have a handy cam. Spent so long changing the lens that the bird I was going to zoom in on has now gone. Thank you for that. I think it was a moor hen. Not so much a moor hen as a less hen in this instance. I'm literally in pursuit of the damn thing now just to get a two second shot. It's taken me many minutes. <laughs> I 
think I can hear it like honking. It's like varying the pitch a little. I was thinking, what on earth is this? And then like memories started to be triggered from my childhood. I think, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Is it a well? Oh, there's water down there and dirty bottles and things. Lovely. That wasn't really worth coming over to see, was it? Right, I'm going to walk along this lovely path beside the canal? Dock feeder? Not quite sure what I call that water thingy. I'm sure I've heard it called a dock feeder in the past, but I've never heard that in any other context, I must admit. I'm going to do a little loop and then come back round, get out the gates and head off to Ikea. Now, I said to my daughter that I might meet her in there for a little bit of something to eat early evening because she's come to Cardiff today with some friends or friend I'm not sure how many actually and we'll keep in touch we said and if we happen to be sort of wanting food around the same time and if her friends have gone then we'll meet there and then we'll travel home together if not I'll just eat there on my own and I'll see her later at home she's just making the most of catching up with her friends from this neck of the woods before heading back to university yes I got my two second world life shot I was ready for you this time oh yes I was oh, oh, oh. I wonder what's in that shed over there look it's got big yellow stripes on it we've got bluebells look bobbing around in the breeze and non-stop sirens to disturb the peace and the thing is when you've got sirens on your audio and you cut the clip off before the siren has done sirening you know in an awkward place uh, it just sounds weird so sorry if the siren was like descending or ascending halfway and I cut that off I just forgot he's going at a pace that one that there is the back of the Welsh College of Music and Drama see if you come to the Welsh College of Music and Drama you've got an amazing garden to walk through I shall just turn around here Look at it all. There's a huge expanse and this is just a small fraction of it. It is very lovely. I can actually hear piano practice right now coming from there because there's loads of practice rooms. It's very faint. And I don't expect this mic's picking it up. I can hear music practice, music practice, music practice, music practice. It's a mishmash of lots of different music practices coming from different rooms. I think I can hear an oboe. It's a fascinating looking building anyway. I think that must be the back of a canteen there. We used to come here with my daughter when she was very little. We did like a preschool-y sort of music-y thing. Little classes for young children. I can't remember what age it went up to. Seeing those people in there sat at a table enjoying what looks like coffee is making me want a coffee. And I'm thinking I could have one, couldn't I? I could go into town and have a coffee and then go to Ikea because I'm really quite early for it. Well, I was hoping for blossom everywhere. There's not that much of it. It's, been a, it's a bit over that. Oh, there's a tranquil scene. Daffodils bobbing about in the wind. And um, a freshly dug hole. Quite a big one. That's big. I wonder what dug that dog presumably. I'm back up on the path by the water again because it's just, I love it and um, I'm looking at the alien plants over there on the other side of the bank. Look at that it's big, look perspective look. it's muddy down there but it's very picturesque I think it'd be nice to, you know, move the camera through those branches but I'm avoiding the mud I had enough of that on Saturday there's the castle from this side so, like, the main street going into town is parallel to this so it's on the other side so we're going to go out through the exit get onto it and I think I might go to Nata and Co for my coffee it's a Portuguese cafe there's a castle keep up there and I don't know if you can hear the slap 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 well that noise is the flag on the flagpole which you can't see because there's a tree in the way hang on well there it is anyway wrong angle I wish the wind was going the other way because then you could see the flag properly the noise is getting louder this is the castle, look, there's the clock tower. It's from, you don't often see it from this angle. You see, that's why I'm pointing it out to you. Oh, look at the statues. There we are, look, I don't normally see those. In fact, I've walked past here loads of times and never noticed that they were there. You do notice more when you're a vlogger, you know, because you're always looking for beautiful things to see and film, you know, and point out. You get a lot out of the world when you're a vlogger. It's a very good advantage. That thing's still going. 
slap, 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 slap. See the flag a bit better now. The Welsh dragon flag. Flag of Wales, in case you didn't know. Got people watching from all over the world here. There's an information board by there. I'm gonna go and have a little look at it. I've never read that before. Two, in fact. Let's go and see what it says then. Oh, there's loads. The Swiss Bridge. Beyond where you are standing, there used to be an ornate timber bridge called the Swiss Bridge. The bridge was designed by William Burgess and was inspired by the bridge across Lake, oh, I'm gonna embarrass myself now, Lucerne. I don't know that name. In Switzerland, constructed in 1875 and provided a direct route from the castle's Butte Tower over the Mill Neat and into the private pleasure grounds, which now form part of Butte Park. We got a photo of it then. Oh, it's there. I'm going to do a quick section of pause to read thingy while I talk to you a minute because I have got a few viewers that love to pause and read and even Google more about the places that I visit sometimes. All the ones that I know about are in America, so this is for you and anybody else that likes to pause and read. And there's one more. This is the site of the West Gate. I'm just at the exit now onto the main road. That's the Pettigrew Tea Rooms just there. I'm gonna pop down there to the Portuguese cafe. Double decker bus going past. That seems extra big. It's my imagination. A big room. I've ordered a coffee and a pastel donata and it's very nice and quiet in here at this time of the day. Look what I got, flat white with coconut milk. The, the stuff I buy, the Alpro coconut. Yeah, I mean, I'm no extra charge for that. And pastel donata. Came to four pounds and ten pence. I picked up a guide to Cardiff. Actually, I'm just sort of going through all these individual attractions to see if there's anything I haven't been to yet. These are both set into none. That is warm and gooey. Look at that custard. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. One of the best ones I've had in ages. And I had a month in Lisbon. And that coffee with the coconut barista is absolutely amazing. I've been washing it down with some tap water as well. It's half past four now. That was a very, very, very welcome break indeed. I sat for quite some time in there just enjoying a bit of. Peace and quiet and a rest after all that walking. I've been in touch with my daughter. She would like to meet at six for food. <laughs> and yeah, I think her friends come in as well, so I probably won't vlog them. I'm trying to vlog around people here. They're all like, like that at me. <laughs> What's she doing? Who's she talking to? I'm talking to you. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I've Googled. I've gone on Google Maps. It's a 40 minute walk to Ikea. I thought it was thereabouts. Obviously, you don't have to walk. I just want to get some exercise. I like my city walks to keep me fit. And I just I find it very stimulating to, you know, look around and see stuff and see people and all that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, but you could get a bus or a train to Grange Town Station and it's fairly close to there, like within 10 minute walk, I'd say. So I'm going to get back via Grange Town train station later. Right. On with it then. I'm walking this way. That's the Principality Stadium. I'd forgotten it was renamed that, and I found out from one of my old vlogs that I rewatched from a few years ago. Somebody had told me in the comments of a video, and I'd forgotten it. That walkway seems to be shut at the moment. I don't know why, because it is ever so pleasant strolling along there beside the river. But anyway, we can stroll this side, so that's fine. Railway bridge, there's a train going over it right now. Station's over that way. So we're going behind the station now. We've got swans and I'm listening to my flute pieces for my potential audition and it's making them seem all the more elegant and graceful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've arrived at Ikea. I think I'm about 50 minutes early for dinner. So I'm going to have a little mooch around by myself. Probably won't film that because I think I've filmed a lot today. I've filmed in Ikea before anyway. Um, I can link that if you like in the end screen in the description. Any Ikea-ish vlogs I've ever done because I've done quite a few in the time. I noticed the play area's gone. There used to be a little kiddies outdoor play area there. We used that many time when my daughter was little. Nice little bit of fresh air run around for, you know. I'm having a bit of a vain moment, admiring my outfit. <laughs> I'm sure none of you will like it, but I've dug out this old top that I had. I have had it decades. I absolutely love it. When you put the hood up, it's got cat ears. And um, I'm sure nobody thinks it goes with this combination, but I absolutely love it. You can't even see it, it's dark here. Hang on. <laughs> I don't do outfit of the day. I don't know what's become of me. There you go, look at that. <laughs> not sure if it's supposed to be reversible. Vain moment over. <laughs> this is me not filming in Ikea. Okay, I'm filming in Ikea. I like walking around in Ikea though when it's nice and quiet like this. It's nice and spacious and dry and well lit. One thing I liked much better about my old place than my new place is the sink. I had a double butler. A bit like this, but a bit, bit 
bigger I think actually but I haven't missed it to be honest I've got a little um, second sink like a little mini one just for draining and it does make all the difference I must say I didn't need the two full ones as I thought I'm obviously quite thirsty after that long walk because I'm seeing these like bottles of drink and it's just making me want to unscrew the lids and guzzle it down <laughs> I so wanted to get this bed for my daughter but our ceilings were not high enough and she wouldn't have been able to even sit up and you know that's no good you've got to sit up in bed so you can read and watch a bit of TV or whatever I'm 10 minutes early for my dinner date so I picked this up for 150 the drinks machine's out of order I've already got one of those other ones and I'll have some food in a minute when they come okay so that kind of just went absolutely everywhere and I've noticed it's even gone up the walls I all I did was open it it just exploded I cleaned it off my phone <laughs> quick <laughs> put a tissue out to sort it out oh dear me quite a small portion but it is here had a lovely dinner with Izzy and her friend I'm just coming to Grangetown rail station now my train is due very soon actually in about five minutes you see like here in the distance there, that blue thing, that's where I've just walked from. Izzy and her friend have not squeezed the last drops of fun out of today. I said I really don't mind if you want to stay in Cardiff and, and do fun stuff and come back later. I won't be offended. So they are going to go back into town. They've got something planned that they're looking forward to doing. I think they're having a mooch around Ikea now just for fun. Um, anyway, I'm going to go home. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please feel free to give it a like if you happen to like it. There's a playlist here, some more videos from me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!